Hi mathematicians, it's Miss Cater here, and today we're going to do day one of pattern block balances. This is a great game to grow our math mind as we think about shapes and numbers. Remember as you watch, you can pause the video, rewind it, and watch it again if you need. Let's get started. An important part of balancing for today is to remember that we want each side of our scale to be equal. What that means is that we want any of the pattern blocks on this side to equal the pattern blocks on this side. That is balanced or equal. Let's try it together. Go ahead and get your pattern blocks and your sheet ready to do some balancing with me. Let's go. Okay, let's get started. We're going to be looking at how to balance trapezoids with our hexagons. Let's look at it. On one side of my scale, I'm going to put two hexagons. Go ahead and put two hexagons on your scale now. Now I'm going to add on my other side of my scale, two trapezoids. This is equal, right? Because two is equal to two. What do you think? Is it equal? You're right. This trapezoid is not the same size as my hexagon. So let's think. How many of these trapezoids would I need to be equal to these two hexagons? First, I need to figure out how many trapezoids would fit into a hexagon. So I'm gonna turn this around, okay? And I'm gonna make a hexagon with my trapezoid. Oh, one, two. Two trapezoids equal one hexagon. Do you know how many trapezoids I'll need? You can see me making it. Now you can see on this side and on this side, I have created an equal balance. I have two trapezoids plus two trapezoids, which equals four. This is equal on both sides. So I would write that I used four trapezoids to balance out my two hexagons. Let's try it again with a different shape. Let's try it now with a different shape. Just like before, put two hexagons on one side of your scale and get a blue rhombus. Let's think, how many rhombuses will we need to balance with the two hexagons? Go ahead and pause the video to see if you can figure this out in your space. Okay, just like before, we are going to see how many rhombuses will fit inside a hexagon first. So I see there's one. Ooh, I'm gonna need to turn this all around. Two, and get another one. Oh, turn it, does it fit? Three. Okay, three rhombuses equals one hexagon. Now that we know this, Let's think about how many rhombuses we'll need for two hexagons. Oh, you got it. I'm gonna keep adding them on. And now I know that three plus three more is six. So I would write six rhombuses because six rhombuses are equal to two hexagons. Nice work, everybody. Now you're going to keep doing this. You're going to put three hexagons this time on one side, and you're going to try balancing 
first with trapezoids and then with rhombuses. Remember to write your answers as you solve these pattern block balances. When you're finished, you will also do this with five pattern blocks. Again, think about how many trapezoids and rhombuses you will need to balance each side. Okay, it's your turn. It's time to balance the pattern blocks on your own. Off you go, mathematicians, and enjoy this way to grow your math minds.